This is the Overdrive Sport Bike Rack for fat tire e-bikes that I'm gonna be talking about today. Let's get into it. Okay, real quick, before we start, I know what you're thinking. Uh, I look a little different. Um, if you've been watching me for any time in the past year, you know I had hair down to somewhere in the middle of my back, um, but just got this, this haircut two days ago. What do you guys think? Does it look good? Anyways, let's get into the bike rack. Okay, today I'll be going over the features of this bike rack, how I use it with my two Super 73s, and finally end it with a demo of carrying the bikes on the bike rack. A good thing to note is that this one comes uh, la, la, la trucks. The UPS truck behind me. Right over there. Right over there. All right. Take 500, 1,692 from a million. Okay. A good thing to note is that this bike rack comes in one and a quarter inch and two inch size. I have the one and a quarter inch uh, right here on my Volkswagen Jetta. The one and a quarter inch only accommodates two bikes. The two inch can do up to four. It goes from two to four bikes. Um, so that's an advantage that that one has because of the beefier two inch hitch. The rest of the features on both one and a quarter inch and two inch bike racks apply all the same. They both come with an anti-wobble system. When you screw in the screw to lock down the hitch, it expands to stop it from wobbling. And they also both come with a lock to help lock down that screw so nobody could steal your, or at least help deter people from trying to steal your hitch. The same key that's used to lock down the hitch screw is the same key that is used up here to lock down the top hook so nobody could steal your bikes if you just go running quick to the gas station or something like that. They're both made of a super heavy duty steel that I trust isn't gonna break even under load. And they both have a nice stowaway feature. The center column right here folds down and then this folds up. So you can store the bike rack on the car. You don't have to take it off every time and it folds down nicely. All right, so I'll go ahead and show you guys how I put my Super 73 e-bikes on here and let's walk through that. Okay, I like to take the hooks off and then fold down the center column, makes it so much easier to get the wheels passed. This bike model right here is the Super 73 S1, the heavier of the bunch, and it weighs in at 63 pounds without the battery. Always recommend putting it on without the battery, you don't want that thing flying off. But that is over the payload per bike on the bike rack. This thing is so heavy duty that I trust it just fine. First thing I like to do is bring the bike in front of the bike rack so that I can line up the wheel holders to estimate where it's gonna land. All right, now that we got that done, um, we're just gonna go ahead and get on the bike. There's a long and small clamp hook. The long one goes first. It comes with these straps down here at the bottom to lock down those wheels so they stay nice in place. We're gonna go ahead and put those on. And that's bike one done, bike two. This one weighs 56 pounds. By the way, the rating is 60 pounds per side if I didn't say that already. Uh, handlebar is the opposite weight of the other one and I'll just throw that on there and uh, skip to that. Won't make you watch me load another bike. Okay, that's bike one and bike two mounted. Let's take a closer look. So down there, there's that lock that I was talking about. Then we have all the straps um, on all four tires. These are the clamps. Try and put them somewhere where they fit, even though it goes over the seat. 
it hugs it nicely and it will stay right there in place. And finally, this is the short clamp, the one that locks. There's a place for a key in there and it just spins. No way anybody could unlock that to, to take off that, that clamp. So that's nice and secure right there. That's a nice added safety feature that they put into, into these bike racks. All right, before we go on a test drive, I've used this bike rack pretty extensively and let me tell you, it holds up. We moved from San Francisco down to San Diego, about an eight hour drive. Um, mind you, we only had the Super 73 S1 at the time, but the heavier of the two bikes, and it fared nicely. It, we had zero problems, nothing ha Well, there was one problem, the, the foot pegs. Just make sure everything's nice and secure if you're gonna go on a long road trip because we lost one of the foot pegs, it just came right off, um, and we had to buy replacements. But other than that, the, the rack itself uh, did nicely. It did perfect, it did the, the, the awesomest job. Um, no complaints with it um, and then we've also done trips with both bikes um, shorter trips but still held up very nicely so no complaints very heavy duty i'm 100 confident that it will last these bike racks are from amazon uh, for the one and a quarter inch was i think 180 the two inch might be a little bit more expensive but compared to the other bike racks that are four five six hundred plus dollars um, this one can't be beat for quality and price. But yeah, I can't recommend this bike rack enough. I'll leave a link down in the description to Amazon where you can find it if you guys want to go check it out. If you guys like how these bikes look, you guys can use the link down in the description to get $100 off a Super 73 e-bike. And if you guys are also curious on all the accessories that I have on the bicycles, I also did a separate video that I'll link up here. Pretty sure this is the right side. Um, and let's go ahead and take these for a spin. Hope you guys enjoyed the 360 footage from the camera right there um, i'll go ahead and link the mount that i used in the description thank you guys for watching please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh yeah one thing before i go um trunk access this allows you to have that as well you open it up it's blocked but you just go There we go. Chunk access. All right. Now that's it.